Hello and welcome to Five Steps to Chest X-Ray Interpretation. My name is David Woodruff. I am the president of Ed for Nurses, where we empower nurses to become extraordinary. Join us online at www.edfornurses.com. Today I want to talk to you about chest X-Ray Interpretation. Now, in order to interpret a chest x-ray and to get some value out of what you're seeing at the bedside, so maybe you popped up an x-ray on your computer or you happen to be looking at one, an actual film, which is hard to find anymore, um, but you happen to be looking at this x-ray and you want to try and make some sense out of it. Well, one thing to understand about x-rays is that the dark stuff is air and the white stuff is going to be something heavy like lead, metal, barium, calcium, water, blood. So the heavy thick stuff is going to be white and the light air filled stuff is going to be dark. Now a lot of times when we're looking at an x-ray we get the two confused. So here are some of the things we ought to be looking for on our chest x-ray. This just shows you a bevy of different things here that you might want to assess for. Some of the important things are we want to assess the lungs and make sure that lung is fully expanded, comes all the way down to the diaphragm. Go down to the bottom of that x-ray, the bottom part of the lungs there that are expanded. So the lungs are the dark areas on that x-ray. Notice you have a very nice diaphragm at the bottom. You see how that diaphragm drifts across and comes down in the corners there? Nice diaphragmatic arch and then the costophrenic angles are also labeled here. See the costophrenic angle toward the heart in the middle and then we see a costophrenic angle over on the left hand side of your screen that is showing the bottom part of that diaphragm and the bottom part of the lung. We should see sharp costophrenic angles. We should see the lung fully expanded and the lung tissue should look pretty dark like what we're seeing here. Some of the other things that are identified on this x-ray are the heart and that's another thing to assess because a lot of times you'll assess a big heart which can tell you your patient may have heart failure. Also be looking at the abdomen and you may see some things happening in the abdomen as well. These could be clues that are telling you that you got something going on here. Okay now let's get into the actual interpretation using a five-step method and look at some x-rays and hopefully you pick up some pointers that you can use the next time you encounter a chest x-ray on your patient. Now let's take a look at our five steps to chest x-ray interpretation. First of all, what we're going to do is to assess the lung for full expansion. So we're going to look at that lung tissue to inf and trying to trace it all the way out to both sides there and we're trying to be able to assess whether or not that lung is fully expanded. Next, we're going to assess the pleura. So we're going to see that that pleura comes all the way down to the diaphragm. We get nice costophrenic arches and nice uh, diaphragmatic arch and costophrenic angles. Then assess the pleura. We're going to make sure that it, it looks like it's supposed to. It's dark in nature. We're going to look for infiltrates. Then we're going to look at the mediastinum. Make sure that that's doing okay. There isn't anything going on there with the heart. And lastly, assess the abdomen. So let's take a look at an x-ray and let's do these five steps here. Okay, first of all, let's take a look at this chest x-ray here. Now what we have going on in this patient here is we've got some kind of hyper expanded lung. So Let's go through our five steps. First of all, we're going to assess for lung expansion. So we're looking at those lungs. We're following them down to the diaphragm. Now you notice how the diaphragm here seems to be a little bit more uh, flattened out than it was before. So in that normal chest x-ray, we had a little bit more of a nice diaphragmatic arch there at the bottom of our lung. Here it's more flattened out. Look how flat that diaphragm is going across the bottom. These are hyperinflated lungs. Also, notice how dark the lung tissue is up toward the top. So these are hyperinflated lungs. This is consistent with COPD. Next, assess the pleura. Very dark. We were just talking about that. So darker than we would anticipate. Look for infiltrates. I'm not not seeing any infiltrates here on this particular x-ray. We are going to look at some other ones that will help you to identify those. Lastly, we're going to look at the mediastinum and the abdomen. We can't really see the abdomen from this x-ray, but we can look at the mediastinum and look at how big that heart is. Doesn't that heart look kind of big? Not unusual for a patient who has COPD to also have uh, heart failure. So we could have some heart failure going on in this patient too. 
This is a patient who has pulmonary edema. Going back through our five steps, the first thing we do is assess for lung expansion. Now you see the nice diaphragmatic arch on the left hand side of your screen, which is the right lung. You see that nice diaphragmatic arch? That's what we should have seen on the previous slide. So here we have a nice diaphragmatic arch. The lungs are fully expanded, but you got this white, cloudy, fluffy looking kind of thing going on. You see that? How it looks like fog. It looks like you're looking through fog. That's pulmonary edema. Notice that we've got this white, cloudy, fluffy looking stuff going on up about three quarters of the way on the right and about maybe a third to halfway on the left. So this patient has some pretty I mean, really pretty severe pulmonary edema that's going on here in this patient. Look how big the heart is, too. Okay, that's another cue that something's going on here. Heart failure in the patient's got pulmonary edema. Big heart. See how big that heart is compared to that heart that we saw in the first slide? So we're looking at the mediastinum. This patient here is pulmonary edema. Now, contrast what you're seeing here as an infiltrate. White, cloudy, fluffy looking. Looks like you're looking through fog. Contrast that with this one. Now see that infiltrate that we have going on here? Again, we're going to go through our five steps. Assess for lung expansion. The lungs are fully expanded. See that nice diaphragmatic arch? You see it very well on the right. Nice costophrenic angles. The lung is fully expanded. Assess the pleura. Pretty dark up there toward the top, but basically pretty clear, except for this thing we got going on here on the right lung, which is on the left side of your screen. And this thing is very well encapsulated. Look how nice those margins are on that thing. And it's very bright white. So this is a very thick infiltrate. This patient here has pneumonia. Look at that. And enormous that heart is. That heart is just huge in this patient. Can't really see the abdomen going on in this particular x-ray. This is a patient who has a pneumothorax. Okay, now again, you know, a lot of these slides, it's kind of hard to get an x-ray to come out good uh, when you're looking at it here on a screen on a video. But lungs are expanded. Okay, we have a nice diaphragmatic arch, nice costophrenic angles. Where'd the heart go? Okay, this is a PA view. It's looking from the back toward the front. That's why you're not seeing the heart as well. All right, now, what we're looking for here is we're looking for a pneumothorax. A pneumothorax is going to look like the lung is not fully expanded. Now, notice over on the left-hand side of your screen, the lung comes all the way out to the chest wall. But on the right-hand side, you notice how there's some arrows here. And what it's pointing to is it's pointing to a line. See that line there? I highlighted it for you. That line on the left side of the line is brighter than the, white, the right side. And it's a very distinct line there between the darker area on the right upper and the, the lighter area on the left lower. And that is a pneumothorax. There's air up in that spot. There's not lung tissue. There's air up in that spot. And that is a pneumothorax that's occurred. Here a patient has a pleural effusion. Okay, now notice on the left-hand side of your screen, that right lung, nice and fully expanded. We got nice diaphragmatic arches, costophrenic angles, but look at the right. On the right side of your screen, which is the left lung, uh, we lost half the lung there, right? Now how do you know this isn't pneumonia? We know it isn't pneumonia because we see the pleura pulling away from the chest wall. Let me highlight it for you. Here's where the chest wall should be, and you see here is where the pleura is. Okay, so what's happened is the pleura is pulling away from the chest wall. That means we've got fluid that's in that pleural space. This could be a pleural effusion. It could be a hemothorax. It could be an empyema. We really don't know which one it is, and we won't really know until we get in there with the chest. Lastly, now, this patient has ARDS. You see just kind of a whiteout on the chest x-ray going on from top to bottom. Again, a PA picture. You, don't, you notice you don't see the heart very well because we're looking from the back toward the front. What is going on there in the upper left-hand part of your screen? Interesting, isn't it? Big black hole. That should be a big black thing of, that should be air there, right? Except notice, you see that little line, white line going through there? That's, that's one of your EKG leads. That's missing too. This is a defect on our chest x-ray. Okay, I know that was brief, but use those five steps to assess your patient's chest x-rays. Hopefully, it'll help you to pick up some things that you might be able to use in your practice so that you can start looking at them and getting more information about your patients. My name is David Woodruff. Visit us online at edfornurses.com and find out more. Thanks for joining me. Until next time, bye now.